All right, welcome back to another episode with myself, Luke. So I hope you had a fantastic weekend. So in today's episode, we're going to check out the Bitcoin uh, price, where we could be heading towards the end of September. This September the 23rd. We've got past that uh, the 18th, like I spoke about. We're past the, the 20th, where I said in my previous videos, I'll be buying more altcoins. So what am I buying? We're going to jump into that in just a moment. We're also going to talk about seven ways uh, to get rich through cryptocurrency in 2024. Some of these ways I've used I didn't get rich, but it worked for me and it could also work for you. So don't mind the title. I mean, most people in this market won't um, get rich. 98, 99%, 90 odd percent will lose their money. It is what it is. So don't base uh, your um, crypto strategy on what I say is just educational purpose only. What I say is not financial advice. You're going to lose your money if you uh, yeah you don't do your research, and most people do lose their money in crypto. So I'm going to go through this with you and what I'm looking at now that we're in another week. We're past that 18th to the 20th of September, um, and yeah, we're we're approaching what we're one week away from uh, next Tuesday, October 1st, and we all know what happens in October, November, and December. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the Bitcoin price, then we'll talk about those seven ways and uh, other ways um, to earn a nice passive income in uh, the world of crypto. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the chart. So the weekly, it started off um, pretty uh, flat at the moment. I mean, it's just the, the beginning of the week. The last two weeks, we, we obviously got this rebound off the um, the support of the, Bit, the Bitcoin bull flag, uh, the, the bull flag that we have. And uh, we can currently see the price target of this uh, bull flag, if you measure it from here, it is 80, just over 84,000. And of course, if we measure it from the top here, the breakout, then we're talking about a $97,000 Bitcoin. So I like just to be yeah, conservative and measure it from the bottom here. Some measure it all the way at the, the, the breakout, um, this uh, resistant here. I like to measure it from the support. So we've got the price target between 84,000 to that 97k so anywhere in this range we could see bitcoin coming to these points here um, very very shortly and we've only got three months left of the year we've probably got six months to i think maximum eight months of a bull bull run um, from october but as soon as we get past that hundred thousand dollar mark things are going to be absolutely epic um, with Bitcoin, we, we could just start jumping in stupid prices. So for me, as you know, if you've been following me, my videos, as soon as we start hitting 120, 150,000, I won't be selling everything, but I'll be taking profits off the table slowly, uh, slowly but surely, taking those profits away and not uh, becoming greedy. And I mean, you've got to do what you do, uh, but the, the the thing is to be patient and not be greedy in the markets. And it's very difficult when you see your portfolio doing a 2x every day for a couple of weeks, maybe a month or two, and you, you just say to yourself, okay, maybe it's going to go a bit higher, a bit higher, I'll sell, let's make a 10x, 11x, 12x. And before you know it, I mean, most people get wrecked because of greed, jumping into the markets at, at stupid times. So right now, you're in a wonderful position if you're not in crypto. Altcoins are down, uh, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. Bitcoin is ready for its next leg up. So you're still early in the game. Um, so if you are in crypto, just keep being patient. Keep dollar cost averaging. Do what you're doing. Stick to your plan. And uh, yeah, you won't go wrong. So this uh, yeah, this price target of uh, 84K uh, to 97 is on uh, as long as we don't break down from the bull flag. So it's looking pretty healthy at the moment. So if we just go to the lower time frame, let's go to the daily. Um, there we go. And so we can clearly see on the daily time frame, we have this beautiful uh, W pattern here. Uh, and we all know, I mean, if you're, if you're not new to TA, you know the W pattern is quite nice. Hopefully we don't roll over and then turn this into a nice, beautiful M pattern, which means we'll probably go a lot lower. Um, if we do break, if I'm being a bearish just a little bit, if we do break the support, 
of this bull flag, then the next target would be down here at 51k. Hopefully we don't. Hopefully we uh, hold this W pattern. Uh, right now, what we need to see, we need to break past the 64,000 uh, level to 65k. If we break past today or tomorrow, this 64k level, let's put uh, this here in red for the resistance. Let me just change the color. There we go. Let me just get rid of this W. Turn it back into green in a moment. So there we go. Okay, so you can clearly see if we just uh, go in a bit, uh, if we zoom in a bit more, you can clearly see that we have that 64K level. Sorry about the noise outside. Uh, so yeah, we have this uh, 64K level just here. Uh, we need to break past it. We tried to break past it uh, earlier. I don't know what time that was, probably early hours of Monday here in Europe. Uh, we got rejected. Not the end of the world. The more times we, we retest this, the better. So let's see what happens uh, over the course of today and tomorrow. But we do need to break past that 64K level. If we break past it, <clears throat> then we're looking at something like this, where we, we come up. Hopefully we get a retest off the 64K level. We bounce off it then we start heading towards, and I think very, very soon, if we break past that 64K level, I believe very, very quickly, we will hit the uh, resistance of our uh, bull flag. And uh, yeah, we've seen, we've seen multiple touches on it here, uh, here, here, three times, four times, five times, six, seven, um, which is good because then we are, um, we keep retesting, uh, that resistance and the more times we test it then uh, most likely we will break through let me just have a sip of this got a bit of a, a hoarse throat from all the shouting from football last night there we go so yeah so let's just first of all be patient if you're trading if you want to trade this then uh, wait for the breakout of that 64k level maybe even wait for that retest of the 64k level then you can take a nice trade a nice long position. You've got the links in the description below. I mean, it's only a 3-4% uh, trade up to that resistance. Personally, I won't trade this. I'll be waiting for the breakout of the bull flag. Because if we break out, and especially if we break out in October, then it's great. Because if you look at the, the monthly returns in October, November, normally we do like 35-40%, three months running. Um, so if we did break out from this um, bull flag, I'll be putting a trade in at like 67,000. As soon as we get a retest of this, uh, well, this resistance, then it will turn into support. If we get a retest, I will jump in around like 67,500 and I'll try and trade this all the way up to 85K, which is a 25% gain. I will leave it open because I don't think we will come back down into these areas. I think we'll probably get, re we'll probably go higher than 85K towards that 90k level we have a retest probably consolidate in that area and then it's off to the races towards our six figure dollar so if you're using leverage be careful of course you can go short as well you don't have to uh, go long like i'm saying if you want to short the market if you think the market's going to go lower be my guest and short you can yeah you can just be careful with leverage just if you're if you're new to trading maybe just go on spot um if you're using leverage, it can wreck you really, really fast. So if you're using 10x, just as an example, on this, then you can make a nice 250% uh, gain. So again, Bitflex, buy a bit in the description below. You can click there, sign up, and start your trading uh, career. Just one more thing. If we go to the four hourly, we the, Bull the Bollinger Bands, I do like the Bollinger Bands because they are squeezing up right now. Let's just uh, get them out. There we go. So you can clearly see the Bollinger Bands here are squeezing up. So we are, I've just showed you that W pattern. We are in an uptrend. The Bollinger Bands indicate a 50 50 uh, rise or uh, fall. But because we have two indications that we're going up, we're, if we smash through this resistance, we've got the W pattern. We are in an uptrend. So most likely, the Bollinger Bands will squeeze and will probably, even though it's 50-50, most likely, because of um, the bullish sentiment in the market right now, will probably go a lot higher. There is a possibility that we go 
lower. So that's why I say if you're going to jump into a trade, just be patient. Wait for that breakout, then jump into a trade. Be reactive. Um, don't second guess things right now. Just be reactive to the market and you'll make uh, a nice bit of money. So that's it for Bitcoin. Let's see what happens with the week. I think we're going to have a good week uh, personally. Um, going into October as well and of course in November we have the US elections it plays a massive part in the market so what we could see is over the next six weeks is a really uh, strong uh, bullish rise to the upside to that 85 to 90k level we have the US elections where things are uh, moving quite fast because you know, it can get quite parabolic around that period we consolidate around the, the US elections because nobody knows what's going on, who will win the elections, but it, it will play a part in the, the markets, uh, the traditional markets and also in the crypto markets. Then after the elections, going into the end of this year towards 2025, we'll probably go into that $100,000 range. So again, let me know in the comments section below what you think. So jumping over into uh, this, so seven ways to get rich through cryptocurrency. Probably I've just been waiting for that, me rambling on with uh, the Bitcoin price. We're going to go through the seven ways. Some of those ways I have actually used and it has worked in the past. I haven't become an absolute millionaire because of this, but you can make a nice bit of money. So the first one is that you can stake your cryptocurrency. So if you're familiar with this, you've got the pros and cons here. If you're not new to staking. Basically, staking, like it says here, is the process of locking up a portion of your cryptocurrency and then you earn um, money on it. So you can make a, I mean, I'm going to show you a list of which coins uh, you can stake. So it's earning interest on your uh, cryptocurrency that you stake. So some of the pros, you can receive your rewards without actually being involved in active trading, which is nice. Network security, and then you get rewards uh, can be reinvested to generate more income, more growth. The cons, some staking plans require you lock up your asset for a fixed time. I know some are like two to four years, some are a bit lower. I don't really like that. I like to know that I can jump into staking and out of it uh, whenever I want. The other point is stake tokens can fluctuate in value um, relating to market conditions, of course. Um, we don't know what will happen uh, over the next uh, few years. And then we've got on some networks, validator mistakes may partially burn your staked assets. So just look at the pros and cons of staking. I don't do it that often. It uh, depends on the cryptocurrency, to be fair. Some of these staking uh, rewards can be anything from 7, 10% or higher uh, on staking. So it is worth, if you want a passive income, if you want to stake some of your portfolio in a cryptocurrency, so what uh, staking coins are out there. Well, of course, we can stake uh, Bitcoin. You've got Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Doge, Ripple, Tron, Tether, and other things that other, I think uh, AVAX as well, uh, you can stake, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you'll have to let me know. I'll, I'll check that out. But you've got other ones. So you've got some old timers here. Some of these coins I wouldn't even go near. Um, I won't even, yeah, I won't even buy Bitcoin Cash or Litecoin. Um, if I'm going to stake something, it would be one of the top 10, such as Ethereum. Not all of it, maybe like 20% or something, but that's just me. So staking is an option where you can earn a passive income. You've got yield farming. So this is the process of lending your cryptocurrency to DeFi protocols in return for high yield. So the pros to this generally, it gives better returns than traditional staking. So you can earn more. Wide array of DeFi protocols to choose from, which is true. But then, of course, you have to be careful. The cons, well, again, we don't know the future. Price fluctuations in crypto uh, farmed could translate into losses. And then yield farming involves a deeper understanding of DeFi. So if you're new to this, maybe yield farming is not for you. But staking um, maybe is. It might be better. You've got masternode hosting, so high rewards. Uh, normally, big master code operators have a, a say in the network governance. And then, of, of course, the cons it requires a very expensive initial investment into so if you've got a massive um, portfolio uh, a lot of uh, dry powder on the side uh, in crypto maybe in stable coins then why not the setup of a master code can be very much uh, technical so yeah i've never really looked into this but again another form of a passive income crypto lending i've done this uh, before where um, 
basically, like it says here, it's a process where you lend your asset to borrowers and earn interest. It is a nice way of earning the passive income. Most of lending platforms offer collateralized loans. I did this on Binance before a few years ago. The only problem is a lending platform may default or get hacked and borrowers may default on loan repayments and cause possible losses. So for me, I did this a few times uh, during the last bull run. Uh, so of course, when I lent my, um, I think it was Ethereum, I'll have to check, I think it was Ethereum. Uh, when I lent it, they gave me USDC, uh, USDT, sorry, uh, in return. My Ethereum was still, I didn't sell it, of course, I lent it to them. I used that USDT uh, to buy other crypto to take some uh, cash out because I needed it at the time. And then eventually after six, eight months, I repaid that loan, but Ethereum had gone up in price. It did like a two, three X, paid it back and then got my Ethereum back. And so Ethereum actually, because it went up, I actually earned uh, more int well, interest on it. Uh, probably lucky um, that Ethereum went up during that time crypto trading high potential profits like we've just seen with the bitcoin price where you can do uh, leverage trading um, from two three x all the way up to whatever you want 100 i do not recommend you do anything over a 10x i mean you do what you want some do 20 25 x 100 x will just completely wreck you for me it's just being greedy uh, it's pure greed just be careful if you're doing crypto trading, prices can fluctuate wildly, leading to huge losses. So you can buy, sell anytime without lockup periods. But the con is trade successfully, knowledge and market analysis are required. I'm not an expert trader. I do it maybe 10, 15% in the year um, doing swing long positions. But if you are very good at trading, if you're new to trading, then my advice, not financial advice, of course, why not just dollar cost average into the market. It's the best way, it's the safest, it's the boring way of doing it, but over time you will earn a nice, uh, especially during the bull run. If you've been dollar cost averaging over the last year, 18 months, if you start now for the next few weeks, few months, then you're gonna do pretty well if uh, you just invest instead of trading. But if you wanna trade, it is out there and there is the potential of high profits. You've got liquidity mining. So liquidity mining is similar to yield farming, but instead of lending, one provides liquidity to the DEX, and then back in return, you earn rewards in forms of fees or additional tokens. So you can be rewarded in those extra tokens. The pro, one of the, yeah, the, the pros, positives, uh, you can have rewards from both trading fees, token appreciation. Liquidity mining operates in a decentralized, trustless environment. The, ri the risk, of course, is like all the others, it's the fluctuation between paired assets and uh, the rest of the, the market. And then the last one is a referral program. So again, you've got my links in, the, this is what I try to drive my audience into the links that I have. Um, you receive commissions. So you do some, I think referral programs give you 30%. So if somebody puts in 10K, then of course I'm gonna make, I don't I have to check, the the commission some of these it's like 10 to 30 percent commission somebody puts 10k in using your referral link where you make if you make a nice 10 10 percent on 10,000 it's not too bad not too shabby so the ref, the con to that is referral bonuses are usually small unless you refer a great number of users so i've referred a few friends in the past i've, I've been rewarded whatever they put in is something small um but yeah if you drive, if you can drive an audience into, if you've got a big audience on YouTube, uh, in your Twitter, you want to earn um, with affiliate links, then go ahead. You could earn a nice bit of passive income just doing that, simply having people click on your links and then uh, buying crypto using your uh, referral program, your affiliate link. So they're the seven ways. Um, from this article, thought it was quite interesting to bring it up, especially if we're gonna go into, well, if most likely gonna go into the bull run now, St maybe study one or two of those ways, get good at it and stick to it if it works for you. 
Another thing that you can do, I've been mentioning on my channel, if you want to, uh, for, so dollar cost averaging into projects for me is gaming and AI. I'm going to bring up some gaming and AI uh, this week. Now that we're past the 18th, we're in, past the 20th, uh, like I said on my channel last week, the last two weeks, I will be looking at jumping heavily into AI crypto and also gaming. So if you're not used to this, then I suggest go and check them out. If you want to play it safe, if you're new to the market and you want to play it safe, if you want a 3 to 5x, maybe 10x rewards, then just stick to the top 10, the top 20 digital assets and you probably most likely won't go wrong. You can make a nice 3 to 5x, maybe a 10x with the likes of, if I'm going to just pick some of these, of course, we have Ethereum, probably do a from here a five I'm not going to say 10x five to seven eight x uh, I think we could easily go to 15k the two in the top 20 would be for me Solana is sitting fifth and Avalanche if you're just going to pick three to five for me of, of course Bitcoin Ethereum Solana Avalanche and then I would say Chainlink and maybe even Polkadot, I'd throw a sixth in there. So for me, it'll be those six. And you're almost, obviously nothing's 100%, but I'm going to say 85, 90% guaranteed you're going to make a 3 to 10x just sticking with those. If you want to go in to the lower cap coins, what I would suggest is look at the ecosystem inside Solana and Avalanche. Because I just said 85, 90%, they're going to pump Avalanche and AVAX, maybe do a 10x then the ecosystem will also pump even higher when those two, when Aval for example, Avalanche, if we look at Avalanche, if this does, so the, the old all time high uh, with Avalanche was uh, 146. So we're still down 81%, uh, which is massive. I mean, we came all the way up to $146 back in 2021, 2022. And personally, I think we can go past that. So I'm looking at a $200 uh, avalanche to $250 avalanche this cycle. So when that does a 10x, then in the ecosystem, uh, most likely they will do even uh, bigger things. So the avalanche ecosystem is here. I'm not going to go through the coins today, but you can check them out. So just inside the avalanche ecosystem, we have Chainlink there. Um, other things like uh, where was it? Yeah, the GMX, in, in, Insure DeFi. Uh, you've got other ones, Ren. I mean, I'm not saying to buy these, but just some that you probably have come across before. But just check them out. So for me, what I would do is, I would come inside the Avalanche or even the Solana ecosystem. If you want to go outside of the top twenty, and so for Avalanche, it's ecosystem I would come in here and then look for AI crypto and also gaming crypto inside those two ecosystems so in the Solana ecosystem Avalanche ecosystem jump in have a look for those gaming projects inside that ecosystem look for those AI projects inside those ecosystems so when these things start pumping Solana and AVAX then uh, the rest of the space will probably even do higher return so we're talking some of these coins in ai and gaming i think could do from a 20 to 100x um but choosing those coins i can't tell you which coins are going to do those massive returns so you've got to do your research i'm going to go into some of those coins this week what i'm buying so stay tuned for that and i think that's pretty much it for today's uh, episode so stay tuned for that this week of course, let's see what happens with the Bitcoin price. I will keep you up to date if uh, Bitcoin uh, moves pretty fast this week, then I will keep you up to date with the Bitcoin price and we'll jump into AI and gaming projects that I'm uh, buying up dollar cost averaging into right now before the bull run of all bull runs before it starts. So stay tuned for that. Thanks, guys and girls, for sticking to the very end. Make sure to like even dislike, no problem. It's all good for the algorithm. Subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.